Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the second half of the 2020 AIA Singapore Premier League season. It's a rematch from round one. Way back at the start of March, the Lion City Sailors were shocked at Jurong East Stadium where Tangjong Pagar United led early, only to be pegged back by the now departed Andy Pangeli just before half time. And the Jaguars will be hoping for more of the same tonight. There's a long range effort. And I tell you something, the keeper got a touch on that. It's turned into a decent save. Shardan's corner comes in, heads her up, and there's the opener. Lovely corner from Shardan. The breakthrough comes right on 40 minutes. It was Yamazaki that got his head to the corner just prior to that. The header was pinpoint, Kenji beaten. Shardan's delivery exquisite, and Yamazaki won that far too easily in the duel with Nishikawa. One Japanese beating another, and the Sailors lead inside 15 at Bishan. They already lasted five minutes longer than Ballastir did without conceding. Plazibat's got space and space on it into. Plazibat to the area, gets it to Heikel. Heikel inside, goes down, penalty given. Well, let's have a look at the replay here. Controversial penalty call yesterday at Haugang. That looked at least suspicious enough to warrant a penalty shout. All eyes on Heikel. And I think Jan Motta can have not too many complaints. It was clever play. And it will be Stipe Plazibat. Oh, and it was very close to being saved by Kenji, but the precision and pace from Stipe Plazibat, just enough, his 13th goal of the season. The Sailors have breathing space, and now are oh, the Jaguars going to go down the same path that befell the Tigers of Ballastir Khalsa here at the weekend. That has to be the concern. They lead 2-0 after 90 minutes here on Friday. Plazibat, nice quick touch, gets it back to Song, to Plazibat, plays Song through, keeper hesitates and pays the price. Well, just as I was saying, Tang Jambagar United have got their defensive tactics spot on in stopping the Sailors from open play. A delightful passage which once again saw Plazibat go from scorer to provider. Just look at some of the one-touch play employed here. And just like they did on Saturday, the Song in Plazibat show team up again. You can't see it from that replay, but there was a moment's hesitation from Kenji. I think if he'd have committed a bit sooner, he might have got there first. And you can see he's got his head in his hands. He knows it. But Plazibat and Song link up once more. The Sailors lead by three. Flicked on by Song, looking for Plazibat. Oh, it's a poor clearance from Motta. Can Plazibat turn and get the shot away? It'd be some feet. If he did, and he does! How on earth has he manufactured a shot? Never mind the goal from there. Yeah, Motta's turned inside out. Plazibat's got a brace. Yet again, he scores more than once for the Sailors in the game. And right on half time, the Sailors lead by four. Have a look at this. Yeah, Motta won't want to. Look at it again. How did Plazibat get the better of Jan Motta there to get the shot away? And I said they weren't playing bad, Tanja Bagar United, but that is the first bit of real poor play that we've seen from them. And how Plazibat was able to get the shot away is a mystery. Never mind, thread it through between the legs of Motta and past the despairing arms of Kenji. And that's some good work by Nishikawa, looking for Lewis Jr. behind it, but it might come out to the edge of the area. Can they get a shot away now? They can, and that's a superb score! To Ari Sabri. All the credit in the world goes to Shota Nishikawa for his hustle. You thought when it went behind Lewis Jr., all hope was lost, but that is not the best defending from Yamazaki. Midway through the half is Chardin. Oh, off the head and in. Well, it'll go down as an Adam Swandy goal. Lovely work to keep the ball in originally. And Chardin, well, it's a shot come cross. And that was exactly what he was hoping for. One of his teammates just to deflect it to alter the trajectory of the ball to get it past Joey Sim. Nice backflip from Gabriel Quack. And he saved it initially, but can't stop it going through to the goal. And Swanee's got another. Adam Swanee 
with two goals in the last 10 minutes. Gabriel Quack, the creator, with a lovely back flick. The shot went straight at Joey Sim. But unfortunately for the Jaguar stopper, he couldn't get enough power behind it with his hands and it dribbles into the net. It's finished here. Lion City side of six. Tanjumpagar United one.